The fastest woman alive, Elaine Thompson Hera, has achieved a lot as an elite athlete becoming one of the richest female athletes in Jamaica. Her hard work has paid off immensely allowing her to live a luxurious life, from lavish homes to designer outfits and expensive dishes. Honestly, Elaine Thompson, Hera lives the best of her life. But life wasn't this cozy for Elaine. Growing up, she had to overcome many challenges, including scarce resources for training and stigma from those who didn't believe in her potential. She grew up under the care of her grandmother in the small town of Banana Ground in Manchester, Jamaica. Her potential in sprinting was discovered later in high school when she was studying at Manchester High School. From there, Elaine decided to give her all to sprinting, doing all it calls for to be the best in the game. Through her dedication to the sport and hard work, Elaine eventually landed a full scholarship to study business administration at the University of Technology, Jamaica. And this is where everything changed for Elaine. Her talent got exposed to the nation, and she got access to all the resources she needed to train and become better. Under the guidance of coach Stephen Francis, Elaine honed her skills becoming one of the best junior sprinters in Jamaica. Her breakthrough came in 2015 during the World Championships, where Elaine Thompson Hera won a silver medal in the women's 200 meters. This opened many doors for Elaine, and she earned sponsorship deals with major brands. In 2016, Elaine continued the winning streak at the Rio Olympics, winning gold medals in both the women's 100 and 200 meters. This was a major achievement in over two decades, matching the 1996 performance of Merlene Audi. Fast forward to now, and you realize Elaine Thompson Hera has achieved a lot that many elite athletes only dream of. But the highlight of her career was in 2021 during the Prefontaine Classic when Thompson Hera did the unthinkable. She made a crazy attempt at the women's 100-meter world record of 10.49 seconds set by the legendary Florence Griffith Joyner, crossing the finish line in a phenomenal 10.54 seconds to become the second fastest woman in history. Today, the multiple Olympic champion stands as the fastest woman alive. Now this achievement on the track has made Elaine Thompson Hera very rich. According to Celebrity, Elaine Thompson Hera boasts of a net worth of $4 million. This fortune comes from the salary she earns as a pro athlete and the extra perks she makes through endorsement deals with major brands like Nike and Digicel, as well as appearances in various marketing campaigns. With all those millions, you can tell Elaine has the freedom to enjoy the world's finest things. And true to that, Elaine is never afraid to spend her money wisely and enjoy the best of life where it matters. This can be seen on her Instagram account where she shares with the world her off-season escapades. When she is not on the track, you'll meet her done in designer outfits from top brands enjoying expensive vacations with the love of her life, Darren Hera, who is a former track and field athlete. Her timepiece collection is also unique and always attracts the attention of the media. She takes time to enjoy local dishes in high-end restaurants. Elaine lives in high-rise areas of Jamaica and occasionally shares images of her luxury home with her fans on social media. And guys, from the look of it, this home truly befits her. It comes with an outside pool and state-of-the-art training facilities and equipment. This allows Elaine to work out and train right in the comfort of her home and get the comfort and relaxation she needs after those intense training. But this video wouldn't be over without a mention of Elaine's toy collection. Well, as a woman of class, Elaine owns a sleek and powerful Mercedes-Benz AMG, which symbolizes her hard work and achievements. So, that is it for today, guys. And as you've seen, Elaine Thompson Hera has worked hard, and she's not afraid to show the world the results of her hard work just to inspire the young generation of sprinters. What have we left out in this video? I want to hear all your views in the comment section concerning this. Just providing y'all with the update as always, Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to Sprint Worldwide for more amazing content. As usual, I'll see you in the next one.